In this video we're going to create this nice looking pencil from scratch. This is a pretty basic tutorial but you might learn a few tricks. When you open a blender for the first time this is what you see. Camera, a cube and a light. If you see anything else you can just go file, new, general. On the right side you have the render tab and you can choose between different render engines. I'm using Cycles. If you have a graphic card, I recommend using Cycles and choose your graphic card here. And if you don't, you can use Eevee. This project will work in Eevee as well. One thing you want to make sure that you have two add-ons activated. This is building with Blender. You go Edit, References. Under Add-ons, you look for Node Wrangler. Make sure it's on and also loop tools. To navigate the viewport you can click the middle mouse button to orbit. If you shift click the middle mouse button you can pan around and zooming in and out using the scroll up and down. When you click an object and you see highlight around it that means you're in object mode. Pressing tab brings you to edit mode. On the left side here you can see Vertex Select, Edge Select or Face Select and you can switch between those by pressing 1, 2 and 3 on the left side of the keyboard. Zooming out and pressing Tab back to Object Mode, pressing A to select everything and delete everything. We're going to start by adding a cylinder, so pressing Shift A add mesh cylinder and before you click anything you go down to the left side click this little arrow change the vertices to 6 and Y and X rotation to 90 pressing tab to go into edit mode and you're gonna scale it on the Y axis so scale S press S and Y 7 and then the number 7 enter Pressing tab back to object mode and clicking this little wrench here we're going to add a modifier and it's going to be a bevel. I'm going to change it from one to two segments and the amount would be 0 0.06. Pressing the object and then right click shade smooth. Pressing tab to go to edit mode, select this loop here, double click, right click, subdivide. Press 1 to vertex select mode and click by holding shift, choose all those corners and we're gonna move them on the Y axis, so G, Y, 1, enter. Shift Z to x-ray mode and select everything here. Shift Z again and we're going to extrude, so E 1.5. Now right click, loop tools, circle. We're going to extrude this again, so E 2, enter and scale this by 0.1, so S 0.1. And we're going to scale this S 0.6. Pressing Ctrl B to bevel this and moving the mouse and scrolling to choose how many loops so I'm gonna choose three loops and shift Z to go to x-ray mode and select this zigzag here shift Z again and control B to bevel this so I'm gonna choose three edge loops tab to object mode and we're gonna add another modifier so add a modifier subdivision surface with two levels, back to edit mode, double click this loop, right click loop tools, circle, same here and same here. Now we're gonna press 7 on the numpad for top autographic view, press K for knife and C and click and drag a, di and a diagonal line here, click again, press enter. And now we double click this, control B to add four edge loops pretty tight here. 
back to object mode. Now I'm gonna name this pencil. Moving on to the next object, which is the metal piece that is holding the eraser. Shift A at a cylinder, mesh cylinder, 32 vertices and rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. GY to move it. Press the dot on the numpad to zoom in. Tab to edit mode, 3 to face select mode and select this face, shift select this face, X delete faces. Tab to object mode, select this one and shift select the pencil. Control L, link, copy modifiers. Now this object has the same modifiers as this one. Right click shade smooth. We're gonna add another modifier here. Solidify with thickness of 0.035. Tab to edit mode A to select everything and scale it up so it's not intersecting with the pencil. Control R to add an edge loop, left click and then right click to leave it centered. Control R, use the middle mouse button to scroll and add two edge loops. Left click, right click and add one here. Double click this one, shift, double click this one, change it, change this here to individual origins, control B to bevel having three segments, double click the middle one, shift, double click this one as well, and S to scale it up. Double click this loop here. We're going to extrude and scale, so E and then S, scale it down. Face selection, double click this loop and E to extrude it about there. Back to edge selection, double click this one and GG to slide it about here. Face selection, double click this loop, select, check or deselect, change it here to median point. We're gonna inset by pressing I just a little bit. With shift you can with shift you can go a bit slower about there and then S to scale it down holding shift something like that now you see there's an issue here we're going to fix it by adding two edge loops so control R add two edge loops left click right click and scale on the Y axis so SY about there and the issue is fixed. I'm gonna name this metal. Moving on to the eraser, adding another cylinder, 90 degrees on the x-axis, GY to move it about here, zooming in by pressing the dot in the numpad, adding subdivision modifier, with two levels. In edit mode, select this edge loop, control B, to add three edge loops, something like that. Double click this, add a few more edge loops, but make it smaller here. Tab to object mode and right click shade smooth. We're gonna fix this issue here, so tab, Free to face selection and delete this faces. X, delete faces. Two, to edge selection, double click this loop and control F, grid fill. Tab back to object mode. We're gonna move this GY and scale it down a little bit in edit mode. Tab, tab to edit mode, select everything by pressing A and scale it down a little bit. Now 
I'm gonna rename this eraser and I'm gonna add a cube so shift A and add mesh cube press N for this menu and change the dimensions to 100 on the X and Y press 3 on the numpad for side view select all the objects and rotate using R and G to grab and move it down GZ to move it on the Z axis now I'm gonna add a light so shift A light point and I'm gonna change the location Z to be 10 Y 7 and X minus 3 change the strength to 500 power 5 meter and duplicate this shift D and right click and change this one to minus 7 location on the Y this is how it looks in render view I'm gonna add a camera so shift A add a camera press 0 on the numpad and shift tilde tilde is the key just above tab and now you can move it around using S W A and D and also Q and A to go up and down moving to the material tab adding a new material call it coat change the value and saturation all the way up U to 0.056 and roughness to 0.3 in solid view mode and edit mode select the first face and control plus to expand the selection material preview and add a new material name it tip assign the faces to the material 0.35 value 0.3 roughness metallic all the way up this is how it looks in cycles back to solid view and edit mode select those two loops control plus to expand the selection add a new material change to material preview call the new material wood assign the faces to the material and expand this change the bottom here to shader editor add a new add a Voronoi texture plug it into the base color change the scale to 16 and add a cow ramp in between to the left flag change the value to 0.19 saturation put to 0.92 and U to 0.04 the right flag position at 0.8 and the values 0.76 saturation 0.72 and U 0.039 click the plus button change the values to 0.04 U 0.58 saturation value all the way up plug it into the normal and add a bump in between move it to the height socket change the value to 0.07 this is how it looks in cycles If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. Changing to solid view, edit mode and selecting this loop, adding a new material and call it coat border.
material preview, assigning the faces to the material. Double clicking this edge and sliding it by pressing double G. Control R to add another loop here and GG to slide it. And in cycles, you can see this uh, issue here. So I'm going to try to fix it by sliding those loops. And that's it. That looks fine. Changing the cal color value and saturation all the way up. Actually saturation at 0.9 and hue 0.057. Now I'm going to change something in the wood material. So change it from slot 4 coat border to wood. Change the roughness to 0.8. Move into the metallic material, adding a new material. Call it metal. For the base color, value all the way up. Metallic all the way up. Roughness 0.33. Selecting the eraser, adding a new material, name it eraser. The base color, value 0.8, saturation 0.76, and U 0.999. Change the roughness to 0.6. Selecting the cube, adding a new material, rename it table. For the base color, saturation at 0.75 and U at 0.605. Change the roughness to 0.4. Now I'm going to select this metal piece and squeeze it down a little bit so it looks more real. So I'm gonna select those edges and with proportional editing, shortcut for this is O, you can move this and scroll with the middle mouse button to have more control. Same on the sides. Now we're all set, all you gotta do is press F12 to render a picture. If you like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any future videos. Thanks for watching!